What's going on champs and champets? It's Monkey here and in today's YouTube video I will be showcasing and talking about everything that was added or changed with the v25.10 update Which means that we will have some jump cuts here or there swapping from the private server we're on right now To the live game to back on the private server once one of the other collaborations gets decrypted later today So to start us off we're of course here on Fortnite to actually talk about some of the new cosmetics But something I will mention right away here is that when it comes to new skins when it comes to new back blings when it comes to new pickaxe Taxes, there weren't any right all the new cosmetics are currently encrypted because there's only two collaborations currently added this update but we did of course get some new variants for a pickaxe and a skin starting off with the beach bomber skin right here which got this brand new inked variant in the game as you can see this is what the inked variant looks like you kind of have like the whole entire ink design with the you know like flowers and everything else on the actual like arm you have like some tattoos on the neck the chest and everything and you even have like you know a unique design of like a different like logo over on the sock or whatever else and if you want to compare it to the original version of the skin there's the original one here's the new one back to the original and then back to the new one it's basically just a new variant for you to use in the game and it's nice to see them giving some older cosmetics some new variants for people who already own them now in terms of madcap it appears that we're going to be getting a new rogue variant or new rogue set very soon because the crescent shroom pickaxe is currently bugged you're unable to change the variant back to the normal one but right now it has this unique variant for the upcoming style that they're currently working on for the madcap set now currently it appears that it is going to be a completely new set that you will be able to purchase in the item shop instead of a new variant for the current ongoing cosmetics that exist due to the IDs existing in the files were to be a new set entirely but the swing animation and everything else is going to continue to be the current one because you know it's kind of just the new textures on the old design and everything due to a bug now you're unable to kind of use the old one so let's say you have have an issue where you have a whole entire combo set up and nice design or whatever that is not going to be something you're going to be able to go back to simply because of how they have the whole entire design right now and they could of course fix it in the next update or whatever because we are getting an update next week being v25.11 where hopefully we'll get some more content added now other than that we do have two emotes which I think are pretty interesting the first one here is actually going to be someone that I'm going to change my audio settings real quick here so you guys can hear better and it is the sprout of tune emote this is a very interesting emote where you kind of get like a plants vs zombies type of flower but you get some very doom-esque music playing right here you know it's a lot of like just metal music or whatever else but this is an emote that loops for the entirety of you doing it and it's just a very interesting one to see them add to the game right it's just something that i wouldn't have really expected but hey you know it's something they'll be releasing in the item shop eventually and it's just a little bit of a vibe to have added to your game now the other emote is the talked off emote which is just you know a very quick you know emote that isn't like looping or anything else where it's like hey pick up the bass you know speed up the whole entire video recording fire monkey or whatever else it's a way to tell your friends to hurry up and get out of there now other than that we also have this spray being the coral commando spray that was added to the game this one is not obtainable until july 17th unless epic games makes some time changes in the next update because this is a part of the snapshot part 2 storyline where we actually go around talk to triggerfish in game and we kind of hear the whole entire NPC lore going on there and do a few quests here and there to get this spray as a free reward now before we go ahead and showcase the wrap I do want to talk about the new banners added this update so firstly we have the slap juice and slurp juice banners which are going to be two free upcoming banners you'll be able to get in game through some quests that are going to be releasing in the near future which appear to be related to even more snapshot storyline stuff but as of right now it doesn't appear like they're an actual reward that you can actually get from doing the snapshot stuff so it is just something to keep in mind but then we have this banner right here which was accidentally left decrypted which is Siri from the Witcher series meaning this is part two of the Witcher x Fortnite collaboration and we will be getting a skin a back bling a pickaxe which will have an animation with the back bling where you know whenever you take it out of the back bling whenever you use the pickaxes basically you'll be taken out of the back bling and everything like that and then we will also be getting a glider a part of this collaboration now we currently don't know what any of these cosmetics look like but we do know that the skin is most likely going to be Siri based on the actual image of the banner itself right here and we are going to be getting a creative island event now it is going to feature two different creative islands but instead of it being like a school of llama event 
open, right? It appears that it's going to be entirely within Fortnite, and all the quests are going to be able to be done within the game itself, so you don't have to worry about going to School of Llama and doing week after week after week after week for a banner emoticon or anything like that. But that is one of the actual banners added this update, which is one of the other collaborations happening, with the only other collaboration being the Nike collab. But we'll talk about that one in a little bit here. So next up, we have the Sandy Surf Wrap, which is a pretty nice wrap, which is actually said to be a low polygon version of a beach where you kind of have like, you know, the shore over on the left side and then it's supposed to be the water or, you know, the ocean over on the right side. Now, it doesn't have any animation when you actually shoot it. And if we actually go here, you can see that it's only animated. It's not reactive, but it is a nice clean wrap overall that I do enjoy. And it's nice to see it coming to the game. It is currently said to be sold in the item shop, but considering how close we are to 14 days of summer or their summer escape as it's officially being called this year, I wouldn't be surprised if this ended up becoming like a free reward or something like that for the event. But you can kind of see the design going on for each of the different, you know, like weapon wraps and stuff you can showcase it on, and it's a pretty simplistic wrap overall. But in terms of the Nike X Fortnite Airforia collaboration, it is going to be happening today at 12 p.m. Eastern time, which is in around like four hours. As the time you're recording this video, it's going to be like already out by the time you guys watch it. We are going to be seeing the Airforia collaboration released in the Fortnite item shop with a unique background, which I'll go ahead and show to you guys right now. This is the unique background that's going to be enabled. And as you can see, it's just, you know, a nice little like cloud theme to it. Now, this is the last voice code name. So if you are wondering what the last last voice code name was that we've leaked before if you thought it was related to like some lore some storyline or anything like that it appears that it's actually related to Nike of all things and while we don't have an actual image of what the cosmetics are going to look like we do have a leak of what the female skin and a pickaxe looks like so I'll go ahead and put on screen right now for you guys you can see that's a very interesting skin and pickaxe and it's definitely one that I can see myself rocking in game because even though it's kind of like this all white pearlescent skin design or whatever else it just has this unique aesthetic to it that you don't really see that much from many Fortnite skins and I can see myself definitely rocking this once it releases but that will be releasing later today in the item shop in a few hours or actually by this point you know already in game and it's just a glimpse at what some of the cosmetics are going to be now in terms of the last voice code name if I go ahead and go over to my Twitter account there's actually a lot that we can kind of reveal regarding what all we should be expecting and in terms of stuff to expect we should be expecting a skin a back bling that is reactive to eliminations a pick and a glider for one of the sets, a skin, a back bling, and a pickaxe for another one of the sets, a back bling that has some sort of gravity override as its own little set, you know, entirely separately from any skins or anything, and then an emote that features a prop of some sort. So that is things to keep in mind when it comes to this code name and this whole entire set that I'll be releasing is that we'll be getting two skins, three back blings, two pickaxes, one glider, and an emote. So there's going to be a lot of stuff to definitely pick up in the item shop once it releases but on top of that we will also be seeing some quest line stuff related to the whole entire event or whatever releasing as well so that you're able to get some free rewards such as xp or whatever else from going to the uefn island and now we're actually back in normal Fortnite to talk about the super level variants this season, because while we're able to see them in game right here, being the Wild Scorch variant for tier one, the Confetti Claw variant for tier two, and the Regal Hunter variant for tier three, what we're unable to see is the actual different styles and the unique ways that you're actually able to mix and match the different variants for the skins. So I kind of want to show that off to you guys. So starting off with Lorenzo right here, you have the different variants that you're able to choose for the skin. However, where it gets interesting is that you're able to go ahead and if you want to enable or disable the mask and then use the different variants on the different coat styles. So if you want to have like the full blown coat or no coat at all with one of the different super level variants, that option is available to you and you're able to enable or disable this whole entire mask at any time you want. Now, of course, you can see a different kind of like unique design going on here with the whole entire coat, you know, the whole entire design on the back and everything but it's nice to see the customization that is there. For Mariposa, sadly, all we have is the mask on or off, which sadly is just a single color. And it's the same color for Wild Scorch and Confetti Claw with the mask on and with the mask off. So that kind of sucks there, you know, seeing that the mask is the exact same. When on the previous skins here, you know, you have a unique design for pretty much all of them. Like even this one, you know, you have a little bit of a star change here. Meanwhile, on this right here, it's just completely pitch black. However, with the final variant, Regal Hunter, you 
you do get like a golden version of the mask and you're able to put that on or put that off but personally I wish we were able to actually use these different super level variants with something such as you know like the midnight style for the skin or whatnot because I do love using this midnight style whenever I do use Mariposa and I actually use the midnight Mariposa style the most out of all the options for them so that's just something that I like now in terms of trace we actually have a lot of customization here firstly you're able to actually use the actual hood while it's down or use the hood while it's up and on top of that the actual reactivity of the skin changes colors depending on which super level variant you're using so as you see here the hands are kind of like glowing red as we go over here to confetti claw you can see that the hands actually have this rainbow glow effect going on with them which match the whole entire effect of the skin and the rainbow kind of you know like changes depending on how long it's been going on there and of course you can have hood up or hood down and then the same thing with regal hunter now this one kind of just has the blue glow so nothing too crazy with it but you can have hood up or hood down there and of course you can turn reactivity on or off so it's nice to see that option being available to you for Rian, we only really have one kind of option here and that's to take the jacket or i guess vest on or off you know it's not too much that you're able to actually do with Rian super level variants but it is still nice to see that the option is available since it's available for the other styles as well and at the end of the day you know it just gives you more customization to the skin but i wanted to save relic for the last because this skin is one that I was honestly shocked by the super level variants. So let me put it like this. I never thought I would use the relic skin in the game, right? However, once we actually got to see these super level variants on him, I kind of like it a lot. So firstly, you have the wild scorched one, you have the confetti claw one, and you have the regal hunter one. And then you have those with the helmet on, as you can see right here, it's getting pretty cool, isn't it? You can see kind of like a different design going on there. It looks very nice with a lot of these. And then once you put the coattails on, on Mm, you're getting a very very nice design and I mean with the wild scorch this just looks so clean to me like I absolutely love this and even if you don't want the helmet right I feel like the coattails just add so much to this skin super level variants that make it really stand out and feel really really clean and it's just something that makes me really think that I'm going to use the relic skin a lot more whenever I do try to use more battle pass themed skins and I'll probably be using this variant right here just because it looks so visually pleasing just to stare at right it just looks so neat and nice in the game and it matches the whole entire aesthetic going on here now of course you have the other ones you can choose as well but i just i, I got a sim for this style right here this style in particular is just mwah, muy bien right now other than that there isn't really too much craziness going on in fortnite i guess in terms of cosmetics we are going to be getting a new orissa variant added soon as a brand new skin which people are speculating is going to be this survey skin right here this is because of the fact that the whole entire code name for the actual skin itself is Racket, and it kind of makes sense since the only other Orisa skin that we know has been worked on is this thing right here. So it's most likely that this is going to be whatever the Racket code name is for the reskin of Orisa. And now that we're in game, we can talk about some of the other changes that have actually happened here. So for example, if we actually look at our quest menu, you can see that everything is a lot smaller. This is because they make it a, so all the quests are actually shrunk by default. However, when you click on them, if they have some extra text to actually show you, it increases the size of those quests. So that's a nice little quality of life change. You know, it makes it so you're able to see more quests at once. And then if you want to see a little bit of some extra flair or whatever to a specific quest line, you can go ahead and click on that one and see it kind of, you know, expand game for you which is a nice little touch now if something does not have anything to expand it's not really going to expand at all we get a little bit taller but other than that you're not really going to see that big of a change for it so that's just something nice to see you know quality of life type of thing you know just more of a visually pleasing change but other than that some things I should mention is that of course as I've mentioned previously in other videos the shockwave grenade has been unvaulted in zero build modes and we have actually seen the flare gun get unvaulted as well it can be found in chest loot and all that type of stuff so it's nice to see that we're getting the flare gun back in the game but you know it's just nice to see these little unvaults here and there it makes sense for the flare gun though considering we are in a very jungle wilderness themed season and there's a lot of flammable objects so you know just being able to catch a whole entire forest on fire and potentially catching all of your friends on fire as well sounds like a fun time now we actually have the relic boss right here which is going to spawn all the way by rumble room 
ruins, and it's always going to be the Wild Guard Relic variant, but once eliminated, you're actually going to get yourself two weapons that are mythic. You're going to get the MK Alpha Assault Rifle, and you're actually going to be able to get the cloaking device that Relic uses right here, which helps Relic go completely invisible from you. Now, a little bit of a note to use when it comes to the whole entire cloaking device is that when enabled and when you have the cloaking device active, you're not going to be able to shoot. You're going to have to come out of the cloak mode in order to shoot, so you can't be like Relic right here, where you're invisible while holding a gun or anything like that. Once you swap to a new weapon, Weapon, that is the end of your invisibility. It will make you do an animation to cancel the invisibility and then you are able to actually shoot and all that stuff once again. And since we actually managed to defeat Relic, which is a pretty easy boss from our little testing right here and everything else, I can kind of go ahead and showcase it to you guys. So we're going to go ahead and here, you know, drink some juice and whatever else, grab the Cybertron cannon and then activate the invisibility and watch as we become basically completely invisible. Now, if we stand still here, it becomes very hard to tell I'm here. However, as I run around and as I do all that type of stuff, you're going to notice as the time increases and as we get closer to coming out of it, we have more and more of like a crack effect going on on our character and we start glowing. However, the moment I switch to a weapon, it makes me do the animation for coming out of that whole entire zone, gives me a 20 second cooldown, which is the cooldown no matter how long you stay in there or not, and then it actually allows you to shoot your weapon. So if we, for example, go to use it right away, and then we hold down the shoot button once we come out of it and, you know, once we swap to a different weapon you can kind of see how the cooldown is so we're going to switch to another weapon here and we're going to start shooting and as you see you have to wait for the animation to fully play before you're able to actually shoot after coming out of the invisible animation but it's an interesting little, you know, device to see in the game, especially since it reminds us a lot of the whole entire, you know, mythic situation with the whole uh, Predator skin a long time ago. It's kind of like a reused version of that, so it's always nice to see in the game. Now, in terms of other stuff that have happened with this update, you know, in terms of, like, in-game changes, we got four new NPCs in the game. Up here, we have Turk and Riptide, and then down here in the two locations, we have Triggerfish and Brine. Now, I'm not for sure which one's in which location, so we're going to kind of go around and kind of find them as we do in this video and we only really need to find one and figure out where both of them are. But as we go ahead and talk about that stuff, let's go ahead and talk about some new augments because two new augments got actually added to the game this update. One being Mud Warrior, which you're seeing on screen right now, which allows you to regenerate health and shield when covered in mud. And then the other one is going to actually be, if we go over here, SMG Extended Mag, which makes it so SMGs have just an increased magazine size. Both of those have been added this update and with new augments for this season and future seasons, you'll no longer have to unlock them and they'll just be unlocked by default so you won't have to worry about oh you know I have to grind out matches before I can even use this new augment in the game nope it's just there you know you just have to go through the RNG chance of actually unlocking it and using it during that match but you no longer have to worry about the oh this is not a unlocked augment system where you have to wait and you know just continue re-rolling and continue playing the game until you eventually unlock it so you can use it in the normal loot pool it is just kind of there right so that's a nice thing to little like you know see in the game just a nice little way to know that, hey, there's a little bit less of a grind in order to kind of have a advantage on the game as everyone else, because everyone's at the same playing field. You know, you got a little bit of that RNG roguelike aspect, but it's not going to be a make or break situation where one person just has all the augments while the other person doesn't. Anyways, over here we have Triggerfish, which means in the other area we're actually going to have the Brine NPC, but Triggerfish sells you the Havoc Suppressed Assault Rifle and the Tactical Pistol. Now regarding Riptide and Turk over there in you know the top area where they're kind of like real close to each other they sell fishing rods they sell normal floppers and they sell the actual shield fish as well so that is something to keep in mind you know they have a lot of items being sold which all relate to fish up there and all four of the npcs this season that you know got added this update all relate to the whole entire fish aesthetic but other than all of those changes and everything we've been able to show you in today's video, the only things we're really waiting for right now is the Nike collaboration announcement, where I'm not really going to be talking about too much except maybe some of the quests or whatever else, and we're going to be talking about, of course, you know, what the cosmetics look like. But on top of that, you know, ranked mode has had everyone's ranks reset. So if you're someone who has been wanting to play ranked for a while now, and you've been wanting to try getting the highest rank possible, your rank has officially been reset. So you can go through, go through your placement once again, and try figuring out if you're bronze, un 
unreal rank or whatever else i know personally for me i actually managed to be a higher rank than i was before because before the actual reset i was around like gold two gold three i would occasionally hit platinum one and after the reset i managed to get platinum one almost platinum two from the very first match i played which i didn't even actually play right i kind of just hopped in and kind of you know eliminated someone who tried eliminating themselves and just tried seeing what rank i was getting right i had no actual intention of trying to get like the highest rank possible from my match i just wanted to see what my funny little rank icon would be now sadly when it comes to the whole entire rank system we still have the burn bright emote disabled so you're unable to actually see your rank in game and flex it to other people but you are able to continue getting a new rank and we do know that they're fixing the burn bright emote so it works perfectly fine to show whatever your current highest rank is in either zero build or building enabled modes depending on just whichever one has the higher rank and of course if i didn't mention it earlier the flare gun has been unvaulted in all modes so that's something you can kind of mess around you know burn everything down with and just have some fun with and i am interested in the fact that we kind of just yeeted the flare gun on the ground and it just is staying around that's a little bit of a weird bug but you know that's something that happened live so you know what we're going to be able to keep that in the video so enjoy your world's first look of fire monkey discovering a little bit of a bug with this update now obviously i'm probably not the first person to find the bug but it is still interesting to see and maybe you could use it to trick some people by going ahead and making it so it's like oh here's a flare gun right here they're going to use it to try attacking you but guess what there's no bullets in it so as our last little bit of news before we go ahead and cut the video to all the new Nike information, we have miscellaneous battle royale changes. So firstly, chickens and sky jellies have been vaulted. So rest in peace if you're someone who is wanting to hunt a chicken, the first person in the match to do that every single match where you know the extra XP or whatever. We also have wolves and boars being rarer to actually find in the game. So if you're someone who wanted to find boars and wolves all over the wild, and even though you know they were kind of you know more common this season, but they still weren't that crazy common, they're now going to be a lot more rarer where you're probably going to find maybe one or two a week or something at this point just because of the fact that you know boars and wolves they're not allowed here neither are chickens and sky jellies apparently and then the frequency of fishing spots have been reduced so the actual like fishing circles where you're able to get better fish and everything else if you have a fishing rod or you know if you just want to explode one those are going to be less and less likely but at the same time it's like you know if the frequency has been reduced as you can see right here it makes me wonder what the frequency was before because the fact that, uh, like, one, two, three, four, five, maybe even six all the way down there, but I know there's five guaranteed right here, just right in my view without really taking much of an effort into anything. You know, it's like maybe the fishing spot change was kind of needed because I'm not really seeing that crazy of a decrease in fishing spots. And the tracker's armory reality augment has been unvaulted, which gives you the flare gun and a shadow tracker. So that's a nice little augment to have in the game. But with that said, that's pretty much all of your changes when it comes to the Battle Royale Island. So, so far in today's video, you've seen all the new cosmetics, new cosmetic variants, and you've actually managed to see a lot of the gameplay changes. And then once we come back later on in the video, which will be like a few seconds for you guys, we'll be talking about the final bit of stuff before I can finally get some rest because I have not slept in a while and I am tired being the Nike X Fortnite Airphoria collaboration. So I see you champs and champettes very shortly once we get a dive into all of the new cosmetics with that collab. Now what's going on champs and champettes? I somehow managed to not fall asleep in my chair while waiting for the Nike X Fortnite Airphoria collaboration to officially release in the game, but as you can tell by this very unique skin I'm wearing in the lobby right now, it has finally released. So in today's video I will be, you know, finalizing everything by talking about everything you need to know about the brand new item shop cosmetics, as well as a free back bling reward you can actually get in game so firstly if you want to purchase this skin in the item shop or you want to purchase the other skin which is the maxed out max skin you're going to have to buy the air for you pack for 1800 v bucks you cannot buy the skins individually and they're both bundled together now this bundle also includes this back bling right here with an edit style to actually change the reactivity because it is reactive over time which we'll kind of show you in a second there and this back bling as well so you get two skins and two back blings for 1800 v bucks and then we 
we have another bundle, which you can purchase the cosmetics of individually, except for the spray, the emoticon, and the loading screen as a bonus reward, which is the Air Fourier gear bundle, which is 1,300 V-Bucks and includes this pickaxe right here, this pickaxe right here. You also get this glider, which is very interesting, and you actually get the keep them crispy emote. And as you can see, that is just one, one of the emotes in the game, right? So now that you've seen kind of all the bundles and everything, and of course, if you want to buy everything individually, the pickaxes are each 800, the emote is 200 V-Bucks, and then the glider is actually 800 V-Bucks. So that's what you got to keep in mind there. But if we go ahead and look at the edit styles for the skin, you can see that we have a reactivity here. This is reactivity on, reactivity off gives you just kind of like this completely white skin with like a red gloves or whatever. And then color mode reactivity gives you the permanent color mode effect. Now, if you're curious on how this skin is actually reactive, the uh, array skin is reactive based on whenever you're jumping or sprinting. Whenever you're jumping or sprinting, this color mode will activate on the skin if you have reactivity enabled and it allows it to have kind of like this pearlescent theme going on for it. But overall, it is a very interesting skin to see in the game, especially since, you know, in the past with like the superhero skins and everything, there has been a whole entire, you know, debacle about, oh, all white superhero skins or all black superhero skins, where this one is kind of like an all white skin with red gloves, obviously making it a little bit different, but the option to disable the reactivity and keep it as a plain, you know, kind of like milky white themed skin or whatever makes it an interesting choice in the game. And it'll be interesting to see if this ends up becoming like a sweat skin or something like that. Next up, we have the maxed out max skin, which is, you know, the Mel skin of the collaboration. And it has a little like basketball in the chest. You know, it's a very interesting design they've got going on here. And it is something that I think is going to be a skin that, you know, some people are definitely going to rock. I mean, you got like the bucket hat up here. You got all this type of stuff. And it's really just a skin made out of equipment, right? I mean, if you look at it, everything about the skin is different pieces of equipment. I mean, you even have a water bottle attached to a shoe as part of the arm. So this skin definitely has a unique flair to it. You know, it has a really unique style on it. And I could definitely see some people making some really cool combinations out of it. But when it comes to the back blings, we of course have the max stacks back bling, which is reactive to elimination. So as you get eliminations during your game, you'll actually get more and more shoe boxes up to a stack of three. Now this third stack will actually open up as a little surprise or whatever once you keep getting eliminations and it will keep opening up after each elimination once you have the max stack so that is a cool little thing to see about it the next back bling is the pure soul boom box which isn't really reactive at all it's just kind of a boom box to be in the game you know it's a nice little aesthetically pleasing thing and then we'll come back to this third back bling in a moment here so if we go ahead and look at the other cosmetics this spray is a free reward for actually purchasing that bundle this emoticon is a bonus reward for purchasing Purchasing the bundle as well and then of course we already looked at the emote which is you know just the keep them crispy thing which is a nice little emote in the game but you also have the airphoria loading screen which is another free reward from purchasing the gear bundle so for purchasing the gear bundle you get a bonus loading screen a bonus spray and a bonus emoticon now with all of that said the only other thing to really talk about uh, before we talk about the back bling is this glider right here. Yep, you grab on the shoelaces and it's a giant Nike shoe glider. It's just a giant shoe as a glider, right? I mean, there's nothing else to really say about it. It's a very unique glider to see in the game, and it's something that I didn't expect them to really do, but it is going to be interesting to see whenever you just kind of, like, are playing a match or whatever, you have glider redeploy, and then you just whip out some giant shoes bigger than the size of your Fortnite character. It's like human size in the Fortnite world or something like that. You know, it's just a nice little aesthetic to have in the game. And then finally, let's talk about the Air Max 186's back bling. This is a free back bling you can actually actually get in game and now the way to actually get this is pretty simple if you want this back bling you want to go to the creative island which is 2118-5342-7190 and you want to play on the map for 10 minutes once you've played on the map for at least 10 minutes or more you'll receive this back bling starting on june 28th at 8 a or you know at like 9 a.m eastern time you know when they typically do the grants and all that type of stuff but you won't see it right away but you'll see it in eight days from the time this video is being posted so as a little bit of a send off for today's video, you know, since we kind of had to wait a long time to post this, we're going to go ahead and go to the creative island, which once again, this is the code. So feel free to pause it if you need to write it down or anything. And we'll be showing you kind of the little bit of an experience on what you'll have to do in order to get this free reward. Keep in mind, the free reward won't be granted right away, but all you have to do is spend 10 minutes on the island and we got to just get to have some fun, right? We get to, get to chill around a little bit and see this custom created UEFN map made by the Airforia Nike.swoo 
Rouge team. As you can see, since it's UEFN, you have to actually download the content, and then once it's downloaded, you'll start booting into the match, so I'm gonna cut right here, and I'll see you once we're in-game. Okay, so I'm hoping the recording doesn't crash here, but the introduction to this UEF and Island was super laggy. It was crashing my recording and everything, so that was something I couldn't really show you guys, but you know, you kind of get like a minute or two of like an introduction with a custom trailer and everything else, and then you kind of get to see these goopy guys all over the place, but this is the UEF and Island, and going into it, you have these little like collectibles and stuff you can do around the island, but nothing about it is actually going to give you any free rewards, right? It's just some things for you to actually do in the meantime while you're messing around and you know trying to spend some time just kind of having fun and really just playing around for the 10 minutes that you need to spend on the island to get the free reward of course feel free to explore it you'll of course get the UEFN XP from you know just playing it like you would on any UEFN island but it is a nice little unique experience made by them themselves where you can see all these crazy little like things they made like a whole entire shoe train type of situation now in terms of other stuff going on right now they do have a situation going on with the whole entire dot swoosh thing regarding some digital collectibles which apparently are kind of like the nft thing i'm not for sure if it's nfts exactly or if it's something kind of like just random but it is something to keep in mind you know they have some sort of nft digital collectible thingy happening right now that isn't being advertised in game but was being advertised on the official blog post so that is something to kind of have some debate going on in the community about regarding you know is this promoting nfts to tons of people you know is is this really something that people want to get into blah 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 you know it's going to be an interesting debate and an interesting discussion going on right now especially since this is in partnership with the whole entire dot swoosh domain but as you can see here this is kind of more of some designs going on with the whole entire event and whatnot does this hurt me no all right but yeah, you know, it's just a simple little island to hop on, mess around with for like 10 minutes, hop off, get your free reward later down the line, and look at some unique custom-made builds by the Nike team. And I mean, look at these little cinematics, look at the little blob guys dancing, all that type of stuff. But with that said, my name is Fire Monkey. hope you champs and champions enjoyed today's video, kind of recapping everything regarding the brand new update. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it, and I'm going to see, well, I'm going to go get some sleep, so I'll see you champs and champions tomorrow. Peace out.